Good morning. Welcome to TV Nation Outdoor Southeast. We finally got some more space, uh, which is kind of awkward because I haven't even made a video for you guys yet about the space that we just even had up front. We got 1756 back here, electric only. We just demoed everything that was already in this yesterday. Don't really recommend uh, doing that. So we're gonna pull all that out. Um, this thing really hasn't gotten started yet. We just pulled everything out from before. And then this one is literally a brand new G3, 1652. This gentleman has not even put this boat in the water yet. He, he just bought it and wanted to do it right the first time and then take it out. Uh, we got a little cutting table over here. All of our supplies, parts, uh, things that we ship out to you guys are all on these back walls for right now. It is a little messy back here right now, but we do have some tools up on the wall, toolboxes. That's pretty much it. Other than that, it's just extremely cold back here. Finally getting into the winter months here in Georgia. But let's go ahead and go up front. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the storefront. It is still a slight work in progress. If you guys remember when Mike was here, we had a boat up front. Um, this is where we used to do all the building at. The boats that were being built were over here. We had some toolboxes, some mud motors up on that wall, took all of that down. Over here, we had our welding supplies and aluminum parts. And we had some shelving over in here with my desk that used to be over here. But now everything has moved out of here. We got the floors cleaned up as best as we could. Started adding a little bit of shelving and some pegboard for the items that we're going to have in here. All right, today's question of the day comes from David. David uh, says, I put an order in today for a starter kit for my 14 foot V-hole build. Now for starters, I'm only focused on getting my subfloor started, obviously, but can I still complete my subfloor with the starter kit or do I specifically need the subfloor kit? Is there a difference? I didn't realize the subfloor kit until after I put my order in. So you can use your starter kit to make your subfloor framing. The materials are the same, one and a half inch angle, one sixteenth diameter. Uh, the problem is that you're gonna run out of materials when you go to frame out your front or rear deck. Um, usually what I do typically is count the number of ribs in the boat, order one stick of one and a half inch angle per rib, plus three more to make that center channel and a pack of 100 countersink rivets. So if you were to use the materials from your subfloor or from your starter kit, just make sure you know that you're gonna end up coming up a little bit short when it comes to your framing in your decks. What are you recording? Are, are you actually recording? I need, I need these. All right, I got to go up to the storefront, put a few things up there, but in the meantime, check out a few of these boats that we've built. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, here's just a handful of the boats that we completed here at TV Nation Outdoors Southeast that you guys probably haven't seen much on.
Do me a favor, guys. Leave a question for me to answer in the comment section down below. If it gets the most likes, I'll go ahead and answer it in the next video. It could be something tiny boat building related. It could be about a uh, product that we have on the TV Nation website. It could be about our shop and uh, store down here in Georgia. If it gets the most likes, I'll answer it in the next video. And if you don't have a question, let me know which one of those three builds that I showed in this video was your favorite. That, that helps a lot. I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content.